Next up, we're visiting with Zach Smith, who's out of Highlands Ranch, played at Thunder Ridge. He's a signee with Colorado State football, uh, committed back in June. So it's been a year since he actually went public with his verbal commit to Colorado State football, signed again at December 20th. Now here he is, midsummer, about to go to Fort Collins. In what ways is that really exciting for you, Zach? You're about to check in, and you're going to be a Ram. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm just, you know, it's been it's been a long year, you know, back when I committed it. I was super excited. I want to get up there then, but, you know, like having to realize, okay, I got a whole other year to kind of just progress, get better, and just keep growing in that area. So, I mean, I had a lot of fun, and that was the main thing, just work hard, keep working to get up to this point. So I'm really excited. Coach Norvell's done a great job with bringing dudes in that really just want to win championships, and I think that's a big goal for me and my classes. I think we have the talent and just, like, the strengths and just – things that they recruited. I think they recruited well in this class, just all around. And I think we're all coming with the same goal to come with a Mountain West championship. So, and I just think, I just love Coach Best, my online coach. That dude's the man. I mean, um, everything he stands for. I mean, the dudes he pumps out. I mean, you look at our own line from before he came in to this year, the change is immaculate. Like you see, we let up, I think, 15 sacks in the whole year. We let up 55 year before that. I don't think you can beat that. So it's like, I think I'm playing for the man right now. You know, when you think of that offensive line for just last year and how they improved, did you have any connections, you know, over the course of, the, say, the last year with guys like Jacob Gardner, Drew Moss, Savion Henderson? Did they impact you? Um, so, I mean, I met them kind of here and there. I went to a lot of games up there, so I was able to meet them. And on my visit, I met, like, uh, Keegan Hamilton. Okay. Um, I'm good buddies with Tanner Morley. I played against him my junior year. Um, and so I know a lot of dudes up there. And now that I've been up there often, I know all of them. And okay. so, I mean, we brought a couple of dudes in, too, from the portal. And they're awesome guys. Very cool. Reached out to me right when I signed. And so it's just we're kind of already a family, even though us five recruits, the recruits in my class haven't even got there yet. Yeah, so you I mentioned think a, a couple of younger guys. Sorry to interrupt, but you mentioned Keegan Bigger. Hamilton and Tanner Morley. Uh, Aaron yeah. Karras is on the roster. Trevin Heil. Uh, Bill Best doesn't mind working along the front range and within the box state. How much did that matter with, you know, getting you excited and get you signed on with CSU? Yeah, so it was, it's kind of a funny story. When I first started high school, Colorado State had a bad rep for recruiting in state, um, as many people knew. But as soon as that new staff came in, immediately my junior year when recruiting started really popping off, he was there in my first spring practice, was there, and he offered me the next day. And just, I mean, I really appreciated that. It was one of the first schools to offer me. And so I thought that was really awesome, being an in-state kid, knowing, okay, an in-state school wants me. And I wanted, that was a big thing for me is I wanted to be close to home. A lot of my offers I had were kind of really far. And so a big thing was I want my parents to be involved in everything I do still, too. So that was a huge thing. Let's talk about your measurables. There's different reports and different stuff published. Right now, what do you say you are in terms of your measurables? So I've grained a lot. I've gotten big all over. So I'm 6'7", 3'10", now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 6'7", 3'10", now. Is that just naturally happening, or is that part of what you've been doing with summer work in the weight room? It's been both. I mean, I can, I've always put on weight easily. That's never been a problem. But it's not like bad weight. It's just been good weight, muscle, all this stuff. So I think I've grown tremendously. Well, and that's part of what I know. I vouch for you. Um, you know, when we were texting, I'm like, by the way, I'm aware of a Zach Smith. You're not aware of that. Uh, we had a live broadcast. Uh, yeah. We would go through an impact player. Someone to kind of focus on in pregame. Like, a, there's this six seven dude. He's a tackle, but he's a tight end. And when I watch tape, I'm like, yes. This kid's a tight end. So what happened to where you shifted from tight end to tackle, and how do you think that's going to benefit you then during your final year of high school ball and then into playing in the Mountain West? Yeah, so I started off – I played O-line most of my life. Um, I started off freshman, sophomore year. I actually transferred to Thunder Ridge. I went to a little smaller school in Broomfield called the Academy, a little 2A school. So I played tackle freshman year and sophomore year. I broke my femur sophomore year, so I only played one game. Came to Thunder Ridge, and I was one of the more athletic dudes, so I thought I was wanting to play tight end at the time, too. And so I was like, I want to score some touchdown, catch the ball. So I had a pretty good year there, play tight end. This year I started off at tight end, but then I switched back to tackle because I committed for CSU. So I, I have a lot of experience at tackle. It's nothing new to me. So You mentioned that you played at the Academy in Westminster. At that time, you were a, like a double-digit scorer in basketball, too. And then didn't you play for a year at Thunder Ridge under Joe Ortiz? Uh, yes, yeah, so I played. I started uh, varsity both freshman and sophomore year at the academy. Uh, okay. I got all conference both years, and then once I transferred to Thunder Ridge, I played. Um, yeah, I did play for Coach Ortiz. Had a fun year with there um, with that team, and then this year I kind of I backed off from basketball as I really wanted to focus on growing in football. 
Right. What do you think basketball does to help you as a football player? Uh, personally, as offensive tackle footwork, that, that is the biggest thing for me. I think the more you can play other sports, the better it is. I don't think you can beat two sport athletes as it helps just complement both sports in equally ways.